Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Okay, um... Guilty Crown. When this show is over, everyone's gonna be like this. That's the face they're gonna make. Because this show, this show is outdoing itself. Week in, week out. When I went to Comic-Con, this past year's Comic-Con, and I got that poster, and you saw that tower, and then you saw the spread, and you, and I met those producers, I probably would have had kittens if I had saw the director. I don't know who the fuck is directing the show. I don't know who is making the decisions, but whoever it is, oh my god. Everyone should go to his house and scream, Banzai! Banzai! And just celebration. Because this guy is a fucking genius. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is Bonkai Nights for Two Guilty Crown. Episode 16. Let's get into it. Um, this one was told... It was weird. The title on the screen when the episode starts is Kingdom. But the actual title is Tyrant parentheses, and the parentheses is kingdom. Okay, we start off with this conversation. Now, I'm not, I, I don't remember all the members of Funeral Parlor, but one of the guys that's there with with the the former president's um, 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 grandfather is Argo. Now, Argo is this guy who, you know, was with Funeral Parlor, and him and this other guy, I forgot the guy's name, but he's this really tall guy, big, big guy. And they're talking to him, and he's telling them, I want you guys to go in there and say, and bring back my daughter, my granddaughter. So they're saying, okay, you know, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> that's how it starts. And then we get into this thing where Argo, he gets into the, 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 infect, the infected zone. The same, think about this. Think about this for two seconds. The same guys that Shu was standing up against and saying, this isn't the right way, we shouldn't be doing it this way, you know, I'm a member of Funeral Palace, so if you want to check me out, check me out. Those same guys are attacking people because of the certain level of their um, uh, void. Think about that. Two episodes ago, these guys were the bad guys and, uh, they shouldn't get allow them to get away with it. So, and what ends up happening? Argo's watching these this happen, and and he stops these guys from harassing this little girl, and then these two girls who they're part of of Shu's um uh, force. <laughs> He's created his own like secret service. Oh my god! And, and then they bring basically they bring Argo to meet Shu in the school. Let me just assure you, when he, they meet up, and you see how Yahiro, let me tell you one thing about Yahiro. He's a fucking, su he is really a fucking son of a bitch. Find out at the end of this review why I'm saying that. But anyway, um, they meet, so Arkle's meeting, um, he gets there, they take him to where the main office of it is. And yeah, Hero's there, and he's checking this girl's void, and she, her void is actually A. And then she's there, and she's like, "Oh, you know, he's dead." When Shu shows up, his eyes are like it was as if someone just ripped out all the life out of his eyes, ripped it out, just ripped it out. So he they basically met, and she he says, "Congratulations." You're an A-class void. So that's when um, Argo says, is yelling at Shu, like, what's going on here, blah, blah, blah. And then that's when Yahiro says, walk with us. So they're walking around with, with Argo and talking about everything that's going on. And they go to... Um, they go to this this where they, they've been to this area where... And she's got these teams of people... 
going through this wreckage of a, of a ship, and they go in the ship, and they send these people in the ship with diver suits to get um, vaccine and supplies. So there's a situation that happens where this one guy who's in the ship, and by the way, it's the same guy, Chu's friend, who almost got that that got who caused Har Hari being killed. So, so it's actually, can anyone say, deserve punishment? So anyway, she's saying, oh, we have to, you know, move on. We can't allow, we can't supply him with anything. He'll know what to do. That's when Arco jumps in and he tries to save this kid. And Shu brings out a void and he's like, you need to listen to my orders. And I'm like, holy shit. And it's not even Shu anymore. It's as if somebody ripped off his face and put it on somebody else. This is a different person. Totally different person. And basically, you know, so on and so forth. And he's like, fine. He said, then Argo says, oh, fine, do whatever you want. And he saves the kid. And then they take, um, they get Argo in custody. And he looks at Inori and he asks her, are you still going to stand by him? No, I, I chose to. And that's what happens. Later on, you know, he gets sent to prison and everything. And and um, Sugumi's using one of those well robots. And then, you know, why, why is she acting like this? She's acting like a dipshit. And she says, a girl died. And since then, after that, he had to act and everything. And pretty much saying that he had to act and he had to put in some order with this situation. So, basically, we move on from that part where we have Ayase. And you can already see Shu is losing it. And he's like, I'm sorry, I've been acting. He's just, he's totally out of it. And... She slaps him and he says, it's a good thing no one saw that. Because then I would have to punish you regardless of your rank. He's dead inside. And as we move along, we have also going on... Um, the government is noticing that she was gathering voids and such. But while that's going on, we move on. And Argo is able to escape. And he's running around, you know, trying to get the girl, and they're trying to stop him. They can't stop him, you know, and so on and so forth. And basically, and there was also another scene in this where he's with Nori. And she asks him, are you hurt? So you see that this is getting to him, that he doesn't want to do things like this, but he's forced to. Oh, by the way, and while, you know, Argo's running around, so on and so forth, he gets caught by Shu, and Shu fights him. Shu gets pinned down by him. He says, don't act like this. Does he think this is right? This isn't right. And then that's when your hero's there, and a situation happens. What happens is, Shu flew through a void at him that fell to the ground, and the upper... Like, um, uh, scaffolding of the roof fell down, and on the ground was the void of this girl who he promoted, you know, the one from the beginning. The void was destroyed, and it turned into stone. She turned into stone. And that's when, dun -dun, cat's out of the bag, and Shu finds out. That Hari really, the reason why she died was because her void was destroyed. And it was a lie from your hero. So remember when I said, yeah, it's a son of a bitch, is a scumbag? That's why I said he lied to Shu so he could implement this void system. Ranking system. And when, and at that point, and she dies, Shu is... Gone. What I mean, he was gone already, but now it's like, it's it's so funny because he he goes up to 
Argo, because him and him, Argo and Yahiro are, are arguing about what he should be doing, whether it still continue acting this way or changing his ways. He takes out Argo's void and he says, so if I destroy this, he'll die. And he starts laughing. And oh my God, I thought to myself, at some point I want to cry because, holy shit. And then at one point you have the president, former president, she goes somewhere to try to contact the outside world. You know where he catches her? And she kills her. Also in this episode. But that's not even the clicker, the kicker yet. There's more to the episode. Guess also what happens. We have a scene with the other guy from Funeral Parlor, the big guy I told you guys about, who's talking to the president, the, the grandfather of the former president of the school, and saying to him, you should get out of Japan. That's when we find out that there's a fleet heading for Japan to supposedly dis destroy it. And that's when we get this scene with Shu's mother, who's working for the government. She says, after this, Shu will never forgive me. And all you see is this body coming out of this liquid with silver hair. Gray hair. And that, to me, is seemingly saying that that might be Guy. We'll see. As far as I'm concerned, this Guilty Crown is just like, holy shit, what else is going to happen? Now, this is episode 16, so let's see. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. We have six more. Six more. So probably like you figure two or three here and then two or three in March. Let me go from there. There are too many pros. <laughs> there are too many things that happen in this episode to count. And here's the thing. My personal feeling on this is... And it was another scene that I didn't mention. I think I'll mention it in the next video though. I'll mention it in the next video. Next video. Next video. Okay. So, that's the story. Five out of five. Or ten out of ten. Just, just, just incredible. Incredible. Like, since episode ten? In my opinion, since episode ten, this show has been skyrocketing. It's like, it's like out of control. It's, it's, it's too much... Too much epicness happening at one time. But we will see what happens later on. But man, Shu, I don't think, I think he's at his end of ropes. Tell me what you guys think about this episode of Guilty Crown, episode 16. I'm actually going to call it this Shu the Tyrant. And yeah, hero, the fucking liar. Yeah, him. He's a fucking asshole. Yeah, hero. Because you know what? If he had told him, this is the reason why she died. She died because her void was destroyed. He wouldn't have implemented it. Shoot. He probably wouldn't have. He would have said, no, we're not going to do this because it's going to risk everybody. And I'm not going to have that. But he didn't tell him the truth. And she suffered from it. Now he's laughing like an idiot. Crazy. See you guys later.